take you on a brief tour for a Microsoft project so you understand what to find where and what you could do where. First of all, on the left hand side, you will see a spreadsheet and I'm saying it like that because that is what you should expect. The same behavior as in Excel. You can start typing in the cells, for instance, in the task name column. And as you see, only typing a letter will already hint the rest of the possible task name, just like in Excel. Also, I could do this, dragging the cell down to copy the value multiple times. And when I want to insert a column, it will appear on the left side just like in Excel. And when I want to insert a row, it will appear above the selected task, also just like in Excel. On the right side, you see the Gantt chart and it is named that way because once upon a time, a certain Mr. Gantt came up with the idea and the Gantt chart is a visual representation of what you enter in the left spreadsheet. If, for instance, I change the duration per task, you will see the size of the blue bars change correspondingly. And creating bars I can do in Excel, but linking them fast like this, I would spend some serious time creating formulas. So what will be very challenging though in Excel is to do this, change only one task and the dates of the other tasks will be recalculated. I could also add resources to tasks and the duration will be calculated based on the amount of work they need to do. Just like your Garmin or TomTom Tom would calculate the duration of your trip based on the amount of miles you need to cover. So these resources can have rates, so the cost of their effort can be calculated. The schedule as a whole can be progressed, so when we know which part of the project has already been completed. You can also set a baseline. So you can compare the actual progress versus the schedule, how it was once you agreed upon it. You see that you could choose many, many columns at this point, we only have reached B and this list will continue. So you do not need to know about all these columns as perhaps 10% will already bring you a very, very far way. Columns are displayed in a view of which the Gantt chart is only one example. So if you want to find more views and even more views, click here. This is the easiest way to enter the views. You see that all of these views represent the same data but are just different representations of this data, such as the calendar view, then the task usage view, or the network diagram. If you want to do something with a task, then find the right button in the task tab, like marking progress. If you want to do something with a resource, find the right button in the resource tab, like assigning them to a task. General project information you will obviously find in the project tab and you can change any view by filtering it or grouping it in the view tab. Grade reports can be found here and displaying options can be found in the format tab. Last but not least, the file tab lets you do all the things you would expect here in any MS Office program. Also very important, the options you can find here. We will not go in depth in the options right now. Many courses do this, but that distinguishes us from the rest. And we don't want to bother you with these details, especially not at the beginning. What we did is uh, creating a template in which we have already set the options such that they will give the behavior you would expect as a starting MS project user. And if there are any questions about these choices we made or how these options differ from the MS Project default settings, you can always contact us in the forums or you can simply drop us an email. Write to contact at ms-project-elearning.com. We wish you lots of fun with this e-course and are looking forward to schedule together with you. Happy scheduling. Uh -huh.